Do you want to know how to get ahead of 99% FC24 players? Well, don't worry, I got you. After practicing this drill that I'm going to show you in this video, your gameplay will go to the next level. In my previous video, we talked about players who are frustrated with this game and I told them to quit for good. Now this video is for the players who are still playing this game and want to improve their gameplay. Guys, yesterday I coached 5 students and all 5 of them were guilty of making this mistake. The mistake I am talking about is called tunnel vision. What is tunnel vision? First we have to understand that. Tunnel vision means focusing on one thing and forgetting about the rest. Here is a great example of that, alright? I have team of the year Kevin De Bruyne. I make a wonderful chance. And now this is called tunnel vision. I think to myself that this is team of the year Kevin De Bruyne and he has finished short plus. And now I have forgotten about everything else. Whereas guys, just look, Ronaldo is free. If I make a pass to Ronaldo, I can score R1x to Ronaldo, De Bruyne has pinged pass, it will go and it's a tap in. Because I am tunnel vision on the finish shot plus, I take a finish shot and it ends up being saved. What could have been a 100% goal is now a 50-50 chance, right? So this is a layman example of what is tunnel vision. And I am sure most of you watching this video make this mistake, where you see a guy running in behind and then you want to pass the ball to that guy. When you see an open passing lane, and you think that wow it's open and the opponent is marking it still you make that pass right so this is called tunnel vision look at this this is a great example of tunnel vision we make a beautiful chance once again but because we are tunnel visioned we play to the hands of our opponent see is there any need to make this pass no because this is van dyke he is marking me a ham so what i should do instead is just continue forward with alexia and take a shot near post or far post depending on the goalkeeper's positioning afterwards i did get lucky all right even advanced players make this mistake even pro players make this mistake so how can you tell me that you watching this video aren't guilty of making this mistake so when you do fix it you get better than 99% FC24 players, alright? And now this tunnel vision, it doesn't only apply to attacking. It also applies to defense. Because when we are defending, we see one guy running in behind and then we get tunnel vision on him, right? For instance, this R9. I am tunnel visioned on him, right? I get unlucky. I should have not considered that goal, but I still did. See, for instance, this Ronaldinho is running. R9 is running. I have to focus on Ronaldinho. I have to focus on R9. I have to focus on Mbappe. So you have to be focused on these things. Again, this is tunnel vision. I think he is going to take a shot on his left foot. Because of that thought, what happens? I make a rushed tackle. Because I think he will shoot. Whereas I should also be mindful of the fact that he can turn inside. He can pass the ball to Ham. He can use the space over here. I should maybe move my goalkeeper to the near post and cover upwards with Ferdinand. That is the most that is the most accurate thing I can do in this situation. But I don't do that. I do end up moving the goalkeeper later on and save the shot. Alright? So this applies to both attacking and defending. It applies to build up. Like I said, it is the biggest mistake. Okay. Now how do we go on about fixing it? Now that we recognize that okay, we are making this mistake. We have to think about fixing it. Now the first thing is to focus on the opponent's cursor and the second thing is to make sure that you are focusing on the empty space. Focus on his defender and the empty space. That will allow you to see where the space is available and what the opponent is thinking. Because without knowing these two things, you cannot go far. Like in this situation, see how we opened up this chance. So we see what the opponent is doing, okay? His cursor is on VVD, he pulls up. He pulls up with frame pong and now there is space so what do we do we tell alexia to run and then we use an l1 triangle we were in tunnel vision now what do we do we fake player lock we are not tunnel vision into mia ham we are not tunnel vision over here we are focused on his cursor so we see there is space in front of us so we go down the line we know ronaldo is on the back post we perform a ball roll cross pass the ball into ham I should have just shot i got unlucky with ham making that jump you get that point it is about focusing on the space and the cursor, all right? And then there is a drill. Now, what is that drill? It is counting one, two in your heart before you make a decision. So whenever you get the ball and you want to pass the ball, before doing anything in your heart, you will count one, two, then you will make this decision. Now, what that will do is it will make sure that 
it has given you enough time okay to think look at the cursor and focus on the space now some players say wow it makes us slow in the start it will make you slow we are doing something consciously whenever we will do something consciously obviously we are going to be a bit slow but remember it is practice and it is targeted practice so what do we need to do we need to get rid of our habit of rushing and always focusing on one or two players backs and ignoring the opponent's cursor and just playing in our own head playing hit and miss fifa what we want to do is have a plan and stop being so hit and miss right good players always have plans and in this game you can see me making many errors which is why i decided to show you this game to make you realize that tunnel vision can harm even good players because if you aren't very conscious of tunnel vision it will come back and it will hurt you let's talk about defending like i said defending is also a big part where people get tunnel vision see now what are we doing we are focusing on two things we are focusing on pressing r9 with second man press we are also making sure that there isn't space to make that pass into kdb and if he decides to make that pass into ronaldinho we can always fall back and defend that space okay instead if we were tunnel vision on r9 or ronaldinho and try to rush in to get that tackle because many people make this mistake they see the guy on the ball and then they want to rush in and get the ball back if we made this similar mistake that could have led to open spaces so you have to be mindful of everything you cannot simply commit to one decision without having a thought process every decision you make in this game needs to carry a purpose see hansen is running we see that so that is a good attack we weren't tunnel visioned on her right we made it a good attack and then we saw the goalkeeper we performed the necessary ball roll it is about giving yourself margin and then we went with the shot ended up scoring the goal now what i want you to do is you will write down that i am tunnel visioned because most of you are you can look at back at your own gameplay you'll keep it in front of your monitor for the next 20 games 30 games you will do conscious practice every time before you commit to a decision defensively and offensively you will count in your heart one two when you do that like i said it slows you down gives you time to scan the pitch when you're attacking and also when you're defending it gives you time to think about the other options in the start you will lose more games because you are focusing on something that isn't very natural but at the same time the purpose of doing this is to change our habits and our muscle memory our subconscious habits okay and that can only be changed through repetition once you feel that okay now i have successfully gotten over this thing and i have improved it that is when you focus on the next thing it is a step-by-step -step process and only by doing this can you improve your game and why do i say you will get ahead of 99 percent players because like i said i coach many players and the most consistent mistake almost everyone makes is being tunnel vision so if you can fix tunnel vision or at least improve on it you are getting ahead of many many fc24 players a rank 2 player can become a rank 1 player just by fixing tunnel vision a rank 4 player can become a rank 3 player rank 2 player just by fixing tunnel vision all right there are so many options and you have to choose the best option possible there isn't time to think you need to have a program now another thing that helps to improve tunnel vision is having a set of attack what does that mean that means you have three to four attacking moves in your arsenal german crossing crossing then you have step over speed boost and then you have passing in triangles and you have to memorize each formation that you play if i play a 4-4-2 i know where the passes are available if i play a 4-3-2-1 i need to know where the passes are available all right i'm not going to be tunnel visioned on one thing because if i will be tunnel visioned obviously i will struggle another thing that you need to note over here is this guys if you play hit and miss fifa if you just play for the sake of playing and you are very reactive and you aren't very proactive then you will struggle you want to be proactive and how can you be proactive you can be proactive by having strategies the strategies i just explained so whenever you are in a position for an l1 triangle pass you will do it without having to think about it you will do a german cross without having to think about it all right you will do a player lock without having to think about it and all these things help you to improve tunnel vision it's a step-by-step -step process but when you do get the grasp of it your game will really go to the next level it is work yes it is for the players who want to improve create more chances and have more fun in this game 
I was tunnel visioned, I wanted to short cancel, it is pre-patch gameplay, but I'm pretty sure after the patch that short cancel will register and keeper will go down on the ground. Now I suggest you to watch this video out here and get to know my custom tactics which will allow you to actually attack in a much better way.